always fill up on the snowmobiles. It's not the greatest gas in the world. It's ethanol blend, so I'd prefer no ethanol, but beggars can't be choosers. Price is always right here. Well, let's go check out the tunnels. Since I got you here, we're going to go check out the tunnels under Highway 11. A couple of videos, well, one video on them so far. I'll add this one as another one because I really wanted to do it on the ATV versus the snowmobile but selling the ATVs it was kind of hard to do that so I walked through it the first time in the summer not very far down here That's Muskoka terrain right there. I love it. Can't really go a kilometer without seeing that type of rock formation. All granite. Beautiful. A lot of these businesses used to be something one day and they just kind of fell to ruins I think because the highway switched locations when it went to four lanes. Common story, exactly what happened in the Cars movie too. Radiator Springs. This is Highway 11. To my right is Huntsville and to my left is Bracebridge. We're just slightly closer to Huntsville. I believe it's about 16 kilometers to Huntsville and maybe 19 to Bracebridge. It's holiday Sunday of the long weekend so we're getting some pretty extreme traffic here today but Little game of Frogger here. Frogger, but it, there's no, there's no player two. <laughs> you don't make it across the first time, you're smushed.
So the OFSE trail runs right along here. That was Highway 11, so we're going to go underneath it here. Sorry, the OFSE trail runs along here. Recognize this. It's about like riding through on the sled too. Whoa, Sandy. Yep. They've been closing off all the trails. This is new, I think. Gonna have to look that one up on the map. When you get about a foot of snow on there, it's even tougher. So I'll splice that into where Dino, Drew, me, and Mike went through that uh, underpass, coming that same direction. Got to give you guys some sledding videos soon, or you're going to start thinking odd of me.
easy. Must have been in a pocket the first time we come up there. Okay, let's head back into Port Sydney. Sled setting up somewhere. Oh, right here. Look at those old girls, eh? Zephyr. An old skidoo. Jeez, that's a beauty. Lots of life left in those. Old Zephyr. So Mary Lake is straight ahead down here. Gotta show you guys this sign too, it's pretty funny. Welcome, Port Sydney, home of 800 nice families and one old grouch. I heard they used to have a festival, or, not, or I heard they used to have a competition where they vote in who the grouch is for the year. Now, that was before my time up here. We've been up here 15 years, possibly. I haven't seen anything about that because I would have loved to apply. Lake. Lots of activities here. Free boat launch as well. And this is where we drop to go up the uh, Muskoka River right to Huntsville and have lunch. See a nice public beach there. And they just made ATVs legal last year. It's a pilot program. So it's good to see people taking advantage of that. It's the second one we've seen today. Didn't have my camera on for the first one. Nice bikes there. 